Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my summer Shabbat series. In, today video, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my Shabbat Instapot recipe. I love my Instapot. I got it for my birthday last year and I have loved experimenting with recipes in it. I also am a little afraid of it, all that steam blowing up. But anyways, I love this recipe for Shabbat. It's kind of like a one pot wonder. It's a chicken and rice dish. It's super delicious and super easy to make, so I wanted to share it with you guys today. Also, this video is a collab with some of my favorite most wonderful ladies on YouTube including Melissa from Little Kosher Lunch, Erica Terry, Talia Carvey, One Life to the Fullest, and Fader at Home. I will link all their videos down below so you can get more recipe inspiration. Let's jump into the video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Marian. I make videos about being a Jewish mom and I would love it if you subscribed. Okay, so to make the Instapot chicken, it has really simple ingredients. All you need is four chicken breasts. I used two and two thighs because that's what I had and it turned out totally fine. <laughs> An onion, a lemon, garlic, fresh herbs, carrots, some more spices, vegan margarine, and some soup powder and rice and olive oil. Um, you need to have the margarine be vegan, otherwise the recipe wouldn't be kosher. If you don't care about kashru, you could use butter. So all you have to do is chop up the vegetables. I start with the carrots. Just do about one inch dices. And same with the onion. You use half an onion in this recipe. And then the garlic. Oh my goodness. Have you guys seen the trending video on Facebook about how to chop garlic? Then I just slice my lemon in half so I can squeeze the fresh juice into the Instapot when it's time. And I'll add salt and pepper to both sides of the chicken. Now to start with your Instapot, you turn it on saute. Add the oil salt, pepper, and onion, and just let that go for three to four minutes. Then you're going to add in the chicken broth, it's about two and a half cups, and the lemon juice, as well as your dry herbs, as well as the rice and carrots. And then finally, you're going to add the chicken breasts on top. Then you're going to set your Instapot to pressure cook for 12 minutes, and then just let it go. When it's finished cooking, let the pressure release naturally for five minutes and then flip the switch to instant release. As you, as you can see, I get very scared touching anything on the Instapot, but it's totally fine. And when it comes out, the chicken is so flavorful and moist. The rice is delicious. The carrots are sweet and delicious too. And all I do is chop up some fresh herbs and sprinkle them on top just to make it look its best. And then you're all ready to set it on the Shabbat table and serve it to your guests. Okay, so that is my Instapot Shabbat recipe. I hope that you guys loved it. Before I go, I just have to share this Instapot story with you guys because I find it hysterical. So last year, around my birthday, which is in November and Thanksgiving time, all of the uh, stores were having their online deals for the holidays, and me and my husband were going back and forth about whether we should get an Instapot on the holiday. I think it was like Black Friday deals. And we were like going, I was like, our constant topic of conversation was should we get an Instapot? Because I'm really against having like a ton of kitchen gadgets. I try to keep a really minimal household as much as I can, but at the same time, I really want an Instapot. So in the end, we we're like, no, we're not gonna get it. We don't need it. Yes, it would be great to have, but we don't need it. We're not gonna get it. So we had been on vacation over Thanksgiving. We come back to our house, and what do you think is waiting there on the door? It's an Instapot. I saw the box, I was like, what the heck? I was like, we didn't order the Instapot. And I like called my husband at work, I was like, it, I was like, did we not order the Instapot? I was like, am I dreaming? Did we order it? Anyways, it was just one of those really funny situations. I opened it up and there was a birthday card from my brother. He had sent it to me for my birthday, having no idea that we were in the midst of this back and forth Instapot discussion. So anyways, it's just one of those random life funny stories I have to share with you guys. And of course, a thank you to my brother for the Instapot. And I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.